Hi, it is the dark secret hiding away in all of our closets and garages, all those boxes and piles of old photos. The thought of what to keep, what to throw away, and how to organize is so daunting that oftentimes we just put it off altogether. But real progress is here in the form of Molly Bullard from Seattle Photo Organizing. Welcome. Thank you so much. You're like an organizing ninja with this because you know why we kind of get stuck and how to get us going. So what, what should we be thinking about just to try to get us started? I think the biggest thing that we all need to accept is that this is not an easy project. We are going back in time. We're going through our ancestry. We're going through our own childhood. And then now we have the daunting task of all the digital photos. And so I think it's really important that we kind of recognize that this is um, an emotional organizing project. And so with that, I think we need to take it in steps and also acknowledge that maybe the pictures that you see on TV are not reality for you, and that is fine. That's okay. That is absolutely fine. And can, we can do this in stages, right? Because anybody who thinks they're gonna do this in a weekend is gonna become overwhelmed. It's not, that's not possible, yeah. correct? Correct. I have friends who correct. haven't done this until they retired, literally never did it until yeah. they weren't going to work anymore. Yeah, well, and also I think too, we live in Seattle, so it rains often, and so if it's sunny outside, I think we should be outside. We should be outside. And so I think this project is something that you need to, well, we can start, um, actually find a location uh, within your house that you can leave so that you can work on it for a few hours at a time. And then come back to it. And then come it. back to it because okay. vacations come up, people come to visit, or you might, you know, get sick for a few days. And so having a nice, comfortable space that you can leave the materials, I think is actually step uh, number Okay, one. that's good. So let's say we've, uh, we've done that and it's in a guest room or the garage or at mm -hmm. some place where you can safely leave things. Where? Yeah. How do we start sorting things out? First step. Okay, so first of all, I would think that everyone should sort of um, idealize what your end goal should look like. And so I sometimes like to show people, you know, maybe organizing your project is, is the end for you. Mm -hmm. So that means that you've gone through and you've sifted and you've sorted and you've labeled um, all of your materials and, and that's enough. And that's all and you that want. could be done. So the next step would be if you wanted to organize it, digitize it, and then preserve it in acid-free materials. I think most people want that. We want to keep these photos, yes. right? We don't just want to organize them. But yes. you've got, I've got old slides. I have mm -hmm. negatives that may never have been printed, old prints, rolls of film that haven't been developed yet, yeah. and digital materials. So how do I deal with that? All right, so <laughs> each of those things, we've got, like, we've got examples be a difficult here. Client. We have negatives, we have slides, yes, we have yes. discs, we have CDs. tapes. Uh, all different types of tapes. And then we have print photos, we have old photos. Yes, we have poor quality photos. Yes. So all of these different types of medium are actually in the digital world, which is, you know, if we had an external hard drive or and um, a cloud storage, each of them actually are rep represented the same. So a videotape that's digitized is just like a photo file so we can just work like with a it slide. When we do that. So as we're going through and sorting, um, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> uh, these are the supplies that you need, uh, or that I use, mm -hmm. which is a post-it, sharpies, some folders, file folders, got it, and a file box. Okay. So what I usually do is kind of start with this idea that the ancestry photos are going to be my side of the family and my partner's side of the family. And within that, there are different categories. For ancestry and doing any sort of family research, it's nice to organize ancestry photos by the person mm -hmm. because then you can track them and find out additional right. information. So, so you might do individual files for them. Yes, but to start with all of this mess that we have, I actually, I just <laughs> create, and I'll move the box for now, Okay, but, um, staging areas okay. so I'll have Good. we're gonna start with piles I can yes. do that and the nice thing about it is that you have these file folders that are labeled and then it's muscle memory I see this ancestry photo and it, there it goes, goes there um, Molly this is gonna be yep. Molly's childhood here's all this. that stuff goes and there. and then these negatives I don't know what's on these negatives so you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them aside <laughs> okay put those because, aside we'll deal yeah, with we that don't know later about that yet and then I have my family 
So okay. these are pictures of my children. So just to make sure we have about a minute and a half, once we've okay. got things sort of staged in these different areas, mm -hmm. we've gotten rid of the things we don't want, right? Yes. Or at least put those aside. We'll look at them again if we before we throw them away. Now, what do we do with this stuff? How do we digitize it and preserve it? Yes. So with let's take, for example, the um, ancestry folder. Mm -hmm. So we've got now all of our ancestry in this folder which then can be scanned and the reason I like to use file folders is because it is easy for us to understand that this now will become a, a digital, digital folder. folder. I get it. That so makes sense. So it yeah. really um, is, is clear so that when you're actually going through kind of the old school of the file cabinet, you're actually going to mirror that on the digital. Wonderful tip. Okay, we're going to put some other tips online, but I want to ask you about yes. your classes because I know yes. people are going to want to come and learn how to do this. Uh, so I offer classes throughout Seattle and Bellevue on print organizing, digital photo organizing for PC and Mac, and then I actually have a um, print organizing boot camp workshop. Cool. And can so you teach us also how to do things with our old VHS tapes and home movies and that kind of yes. stuff? Yes, yes. And to get your full digital archive that is uh, stable and shareable and this all becomes fun projects like photo books because or can come right a family out timeline. And um, you told me keep it in the cloud and on a hard drive so you've got a backup. Yes. So everybody yeah. understands where the cloud is or what it is so you know what a hard drive is. Yes. Thank you yes. so much. You can find out more about Molly's classes by going to our website for a link and Molly is giving away a spot in one of her all day print photo organizing boot camps. You can haul in up to three boxes full of photos and Molly will help you get organized and get started on a project. Just head on over to New Day's Facebook and comment on the pinned post. You'll find that right at the top of our page for your chance to win. Thank you so much. Thank you. I feel inspired. I can do this if I just go in phases. When we come back, using moss in art projects to beautify your indoor and outdoor spaces.